you know, it was a very difficult match. Um, uh, I felt like, you know, the first 45 minutes, we really tried to, uh, to, to uh, not at least concede a goal because we knew that, you know, uh, if we could go back in the, at the halftime with a zero, we would have all our chances to uh, to go back to come back in the second half and be more more dominant. Uh, you know that's what happened. So I'm very happy, very proud, and uh, we're looking forward to the next game. Okay, thank you for that. We'll bounce to questions now. If you have one, please raise your hand, and we'll start with Nick Krepke. Larry's two matches in a row. You're a guy who grinds as hard as it comes to have your goals of the season come his last two matches. What's the meaning to you? You know, it means a lot. It means a lot. Uh, obviously, you know, uh, as a defender, I'm not expecting uh, uh, to, to score to score any goals uh, in a game. You know, the first thing is to try to to help my team not concede any goals. You know, if I can uh, do a little bit more to help the team to to get a win, it's massive. And uh, I'm very happy about the about those two goals that I scored in the last in the last two games. And uh, you know, I'm just looking forward to, to why not. Uh, Keep uh, doing that. All right, next we'll go to Sam Spiller. Hey, Larice, uh, congrats on the win. Um, Colorado managed nine shots in the first half, and in the second half, uh, you were able to hold them to just one shot all half. Uh, what was the difference for you that you saw in the second half that you were able to really clamp down that uh, Rapids uh, offense? I feel like in, in the first half, um, we are trying to get acclimated to the altitude. Uh, and we play on top of that uh, four days ago, so it wasn't easy to uh, to really come uh, in the first half and be uh, as sharp and uh, and more uh, and um, you know uh, as precise as we would be in the in the first half. So uh, you know we, we we just wanted to not consider any goals in, in the first half. To you know go back to the to the locker room at the at the halftime, make some adjustment because they put in a, a lot of trouble for, for our defense. And I felt like, you know, those adjustments have been paying off in the second half. Um, we were even more sharp and, um, you know, we were more, you know, precise with the ball, um, more movements, more uh, everything, just a little bit more every, everything. And that, that helped us to, to just keep them from, uh, from attacking us the, the same way they did in the first half. And uh, we had our chances as well. So uh, it was a very good, uh, very good second half. Next, we'll go to Charles Bowen. Hey, congrats on the on the win, Larry. I, I was um, I had two two parts. One is um, they created almost nothing after halftime, uh, even though you know you guys had less rest. You're playing at the high altitude. Um, I, I know you spoke a little just now, but I was wondering if you'd share a bit more into the halftime talk, um, and then also how do you approach the task ahead with uh, two key players probably out now for for the next one. Yeah, it's gonna be a, um, it's gonna to be tough to, uh, to not be able to play without uh, uh, Dairon and uh, and Seba. But you know, I think that we have a lot of quality in this uh, in this team in this group, and uh, I, I feel like uh, and I'm very confident about the fact that somebody is gonna step up and uh, and uh, make the plays that we need to 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 have to to be able to win that game. Uh, you know, and um, at the halftime, the, it was just a few uh, few um, adjustments. It was more about the positioning of our wingers to try to make it more difficult for for their fullbacks because they they could go around us and uh, put a dangerous cross. So that's why we've been uh, that's what we have been um, uh, adjusting in the at the halftime, and as well as you know, after 45 minutes playing uh, in that in that high altitude, the build just get used to it, and uh, it was uh, it was easier for us even though the last I felt like the last 10 minutes were tough like very difficult but overall you know in the second half we felt better and uh, sharper and uh, I think that's how we, we we got that win. Okay, we only have time for one more question we'll go to Paul Danzer. Hey Luis congrats talk about how the team responded when Saban went down what was the mindset when he had to leave? And, you know, the, the, the mindset was, you know, Seba has been the leader uh, of that team, offensively at least. Uh, and um, the mindset was, you know, we have a lot of good players in that team, in that group, and somebody's going to step up and, and make a play that will uh, allow us to, uh, to, to get that win. You know, and every, first of all, defensively, everybody just 
stepped up the way we, we were supposed to. You know, when uh, Pipe came in, um, he helped us as, as well a lot. And, uh, you know, today it was me who scored that goal, but it could have been anybody else, you know, and uh, just the simple fact that we could put that ball uh, in the back of the net without considering any goals today was just a, a massive, uh, massive one for us.